environment is a precious gift of life, a beautiful paradise that God has given to us, which provides everything we need in daily lives. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, and the land that we are standing. Long ago, there are green forests that serves as lungs of our land that purifies the air and giving freshness strength to people. Provide foods and shelters, the air are fresh, the land are greens, and the ocean and rivers water are as clear as the crystals. However, do you think these are still existing now? Do you think we can still feel, see, and touch, or even consume those all safely now? Exactly no. As time passed by generations to generations, everything in nature was changed and those treasures of bodies of water and land before are now so devastated. As what I have observed now in our surroundings, in our environment, water and air was not that safer to consume anymore. Thus, water contamination and air pollution is keep on arousing that brought various diseases. Bodies of water in the rivers and oceans are now filled with garbages. The forests are devastated with deforestations. Factories are everywhere, producing smogs, dust, and that marine life are now having shorter times for survival because of consuming such overpolluted and contaminated waters. Garbage are everywhere. Plastics, bottles, cartons, and any waste are in the crowd of places, even on streets, in parks, and market areas. Thus, this all contaminates the water and air consumed by us, resulting into severe various diseases, asthma, dehydration, and many more, and even death. And these are all because of us. There is no other to be blamed but us, the humans. Through our responsible actions and habits, our environment was distracted. Because of humanity's carelessness, doings and manners, everything was vanished. We as human beings are the ones that brought circumstances in our own lives and destroying Mother Earth, causing into more sufferings. And would you like to suffer then? Would you love to see our fellow men that are suffering because of our own carelessness? Is this a form of life that we dream of? A form of life that you want to live? How can we attain safer and healthier future if our surroundings are overly crowded with these nonsense acts? How can we attain to save Earth if we would not make steps for change? So today, a student and representative from Negros Oriental State University, Gihulngan Campus, I, Carmela Lakadman Magaliano, standing here, urging and encouraging everyone to give a helping hand in taking steps for making difference for creating change. Our Earth is near to an end. Therefore, now is the perfect time to make a change. A change for a healthier and safer environment with quality of air and water for healthy living. Together, let us all be educated, attainable, and give adjoining hands to anticipate water contamination and air pollution. Preserve our Mother Earth, especially in these times of pandemic where many are died due to that killing disease that is probably caused from environmental carelessness. Therefore, let us all join hands as to further create cleaner, greener, and safer environment by these simple ways. Reforestation Plant more trees because trees will provide fresh air, prevents erosions, landslides, and even floods. Trees will provide oxygen while purifying air by absorbing pollutants such as carbon dioxide and takes us to conserve quality of water. Waste management Waste management is one of effective ways for protecting environment and lands and pollutants as well as contaminations. Observe proper waste disposals and throwing garbages in proper places just like in trash can or compost pits. Trash cans in public places or even at home that are labeled as biodegradable, non-biodegradable, hazardous, and even recyclable as for proper segregation of waste that will surely prevail healthy and wealthy environment. Stop throwing garbages anywhere, especially on drainage, rivers, 
and any bodies of waters. Stop burning especially plastics. Also, avoid burning leaves, trash, and other materials because its mugs releases toxic chemicals that pollutes the air and breathing in these toxic chemicals may result to respiratory illnesses. Reduction of forest fires This may produce mag destructing the ozone layer and polluting air quality. Join cleanup drives in the community. Cleaning the rivers, drainage, and the surroundings, keeping all waste and garbages is one way of obtaining cleaner and greener preservation of environment free from pollutions and contaminations. Practice the three R's, reuse, reduce, and recycle. This will help eliminate dumping of garbages everywhere. It is our duty to preserve our nature's beauty and to protect one's life as we protect our environment. So now, let us start an action in ourselves, in our home, so that others may follow. If you would not act now, then when? It is now our great opportunity to recommit and strive to do a better action footprints. We're all at different prints on our path towards a more sustainable future. Let us all do our responsibilities as humans. Together, let us all do small things to make bigger difference. Let's heal the earth as to heal ourselves and prepare future generations with wealth. Let's nurture the nature with care, for the more we care, the more we heal. Again, this is Carmela Lacadman Magaliano, humbly encouraging and asking everyone to wake up, make a stand, and start a change within ourselves. For our health belongs to the environment we have, and our environment depends on us, and our future belongs to our hands. Save the earth, save life.